Laura, I don't know if you got outside today, but what a wonderful day. How could I not get outside today? We cannot beat this weather. It almost felt spring-like, but I know, good. I know all good things must come to an end, Betsy. <laughs> but I have a deal for everyone. Okay. One more day. Let's yes. do it. Such I a think deal. we're going to be right back into this territory as we go through the day tomorrow. It's going to be another nice one for us. Over the next few hours as we go through the night tonight, boys, the leaves are really starting to turn. It's a nice evening to catch a walk as the sun is setting. Temperatures are going to fade back into the 60s. And that'll be out. do it, friends. We're not going to get very cool tonight. Uh, we do have warmer air that has been moving in, obviously, and it's going to stay with us. Still cool along the lakeshore. We had a lake breeze that came in, cooled the lakeshore areas down into the 60s, but it's well into the 70s elsewhere. And as we head through the rest of the night tonight, again, we're not going to see temperatures backing off all that much. But what an incredible frontal boundary we have to show you. A very defined front the front of colder air. This is what we start to tell you, of course. You can see the north wind flowing in in that northern air mass. The southern air mass is coming at us from the south. And we're watching this front as it's going to eventually shift to the east and start to pivot a little bit. It won't make it to northeast Ohio until we get to Friday night. So we've got a nice stretch here, 24 plus hours, before we really get the impacts of this front. And when it sweeps through, you can see what it's already doing here. Kansas City to Omaha, a 40 degree difference at that's about 150 ish miles out that direction. So it is a pretty significant change that is coming along. Now, anytime there's change in the atmosphere, you get clouds, you get showers and thunderstorms, and we're watching showers and thunderstorms developing along the front. You can kind of see this very slim line of the thunderstorms. We will most likely get thunderstorms coming with the front tomorrow night. The good news is we're not going to get the snow side of things, okay? So don't worry about that. But you're going to notice a big change. National Design, our hour by hour forecast, keeps us well into the 60s as we head through the night tonight. Tomorrow morning, we could have a few upper 50s, but a brisk southerly breeze will greet you as you head out the door. We're going to start with some sunshine, and as the day goes on, you'll see the clouds increasing. By afternoon now, we could see a few pop-up showers in the area as temperatures are once again in the mid and upper 70s. Again, this is just fantastic, uh, but thun thunderstorms really start to fire up as we go through the evening and then tomorrow night too. You can see there's a line that comes along with that. Remember that little line I showed you out to the west? And once that line passes through, we get a distinct wind shift and look at the temperature difference here. Uh, again, this is 10 o'clock at night, so that's not surprising, but the temperatures continue to drop and stay down in the 40s to near 50 as we go through the day on Saturday. We will get to see some some sun late in the day on Saturday, but we're probably going to have a lot of cloud cover and most likely a few lingering shower chances too. But what a distinct drop, literally a 27 degree drop in 24 hours. Pretty impressive stuff here. Uh, and that's part and parcel with fall in Northeast Ohio. Universal Windows Direct Forecast. We're going upper 70s down to 40s to near 50 Saturday. We'll hold in the mid and upper 50s then as we head through much of next week as we kind of dance around a few showers here and there. Russ? But enjoy tomorrow, it looks like. Absolutely. Impressive drop. I like that, Betsy. Thanks.